Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Anabhavana Sampakning. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. And watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try not to wander off. If the mind does wander off, just bring it right back. If it wanders off again, bring it back again. You have to show that you're in charge here. Because otherwise the mind just wanders as it will. You want the mind to settle down and have a place of its own. Because the mind is what's in charge. And if there's nobody, nobody in charge of the mind, if your mindfulness and alertness are not in charge of your mind, then who knows what it's going to do, what kind of orders it's going to give. So you have to be in charge of what's in charge to make sure that it shapes your life in the direction you want it to go. If you live without mindfulness, without alertness, you just do things in line with whatever urges come up. They can come up from who knows where. And there's nothing to guarantee that whatever comes up in your mind is skillful. There's a lot of unskillful stuff that comes up. We tend to complain about other people's unskillful behavior. But that doesn't harm us nearly as much as our own. So this is what we have to watch out for. I mean, the worst someone else can do is kill you. But what you can do is you can kill your goodness, which is even worse. Because the goodness is the one thing you have that you can carry on to the next life. So when you make sure that your goodness always stays in good shape. And this is your responsibility. Today we're commemorating the passing of a John Sawat. It was 12 years ago. Now in the Thai calendar, 12 years is a cycle, so it's one cycle since he passed away. And one of his teachings, it's always good to keep his teachings in mind, one of his important teachings was that each of us has only one person in this world. In other words, we have one person for which we're really responsible, and that's ourselves. We may have children, we may have relatives, other people we work with, and we try to be responsible for them to some extent, but ultimately they're the ones who are making the choices, whether they're going to follow your example or not, whether they're going to do what you tell them to or not. But the first thing you've got to do is you've got to set a good example for yourself, and you've got to tell yourself what to do in the right way so that you actually have an effect on your thoughts and your words and your deeds. And it starts right here with the mind, right at the breath. Everything you do, say, and think comes out of this one spot here. It's just that something sneak through without you really realizing what's happening. So you've got to set up a checkpoint here, make sure that any impulse that comes out of the mind is going to go into the body. You want to make sure it's skillful. Whatever comes in from outside, you've got to look at what you're going to take in, what things you're going to focus on, what things you're going to ignore. In other words, what's the principle behind focusing or paying attention to one thing and not paying attention to something else. You want to make sure that that principle is skillful, too. So right here you want to set up your checkpoint to be in charge of what's happening. When the people at the checkpoint are alert all the time, then things are going to be peaceful. There'll be no smuggled arms or anything else smuggled in or out. This way your life inside, at the very least, is, is at peace, and you're not creating any unnecessary disturbances outside, either. What other people do, there comes a point where we have to say that's their business. If there's something you can prevent that's unskillful, you do your best to prevent it. But there comes a point when you realize that you can't control the whole world. So you have to come back and control what you really are responsible for, and that's your intentions, your decisions as to what to say and do and think. So make sure you're right here, watching what's coming in, what's going out. Make sure nothing gets smuggled in or smuggled out. And that way you're taken responsible for the area where you are most responsible and where you can do the most good. <laughs>